Now friends, in this question, what is the sum of the coefficient of the polynomial this? Obviously, it's a very big polynomial. If you are going to expand that, it will be really a time-taking process, right? So you have to think logically. I just shared one um, fundamental logic over here that suppose you have x minus 1 whole square, right? So that is x square minus 2x plus 1. So what will be the sum of coefficient? That is 1 minus 2 plus 1, that is 0, right? Similarly, suppose I have x plus 1 whole square. So that is x square plus 2x plus 1. So that is 1 plus 2 plus 1, that's 4, right? So sum of coefficient is 4 in this case, sum of coefficient is 0 in this case, right? So what I'm doing over here, I'm putting the value of x as 1 and calculating the sum of coefficients. The same thing, instead of putting the value of x as 1 over here, I can put the value of x as 1 in this case also, in this uh, term also. So if I put x as 1, 1 minus 1, that is 0 square, that will be 0. Similarly, if I put x as 1 over here, in this case, uh, 1 plus 1, that is 2 square, that is that will give me the sum of coefficient. Similarly, you can extend the rule for x plus 1 whole cube also. So that is x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1. So that is, uh, if I put x as 1, uh, sum of coefficient will be 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1. That is 3 and 3, 6 and 1, 7 and 1, 8, right? So sum of coefficient is 8 over here. So I put x as 1 over here. The same thing I'll be getting 2 cube, that's 8, right? So sum of coefficient can be... Uh, Calculate it if I put the value of x as 1 over here in the entire expression. The problem becomes very easy for me, right? So you should be clear with this logic. Now you just put the value of x as 1 in this expression and uh, calculate it carefully. So x minus 1, that is 1 minus 2, that is minus 1 raised to 6, that will give uh, positive 1. Then 1 minus 4 whole square, so it's minus 3 whole square, that's 9. Plus 1 plus 1 cube, that is 2 cube, that is 8 into 1 minus 2, that is minus 1 cube, that's minus 1. So, 8 into minus 1, minus 8, right? Plus uh, 1 plus 1 whole square, that is 4 into 1 minus 4, that is minus 3 cube, that is minus 27, right? 27, 2s are 54, 2s are 108 and 116. 116 minus 9 is 107 that's negative, right? So if you are clear with this logic, if, by putting x is equal to 1, you'll be getting the sum of coefficient. Uh, you can do the sum very easily, right? The same rule can be extended to other expressions also. Suppose I have 2x plus 3y minus 6z raised to say 25, right? So obviously, it will be a very big expression. Uh, you need to apply the binomial theorem, then you have to expand it. So, you'll be getting a very, very big expression that will be having more than 75 terms, right? So, it is easy to calculate, uh, it is not easy to calculate the sum of coefficients. What you can do instead of uh, expanding it, what you can do, x, y and z, just put them as 1. So, 2 plus 3, 5 minus 6, that is minus 1, minus 1 raised to 25 is minus 1, right? So the sum of coefficient in this case will be minus 1, right? You can uh, uh, verify this rule by taking some small expression. Suppose I have 2, suppose 2x two plus y plus z whole square, right? According to this rule, uh, the sum of coefficient will be 2 plus 1 plus 1, that is 4 square, that is 16, right? Now you literally expand it. It's 4x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 into 2xy, that is 4xy, plus 2yz, plus 4xz. Now, sum of coefficient is 4 plus 2, uh, 6, 6 and 4, 10, 11, 12 and 4, 16, right? So, that's very well verified, right? So, if any time this sort of questions comes that uh, sum of coefficient you have to find out, just put the variable uh, as 1, put the value of the variables as 1. I hope you are clear.